Okay, here is something very interesting about Katie Coleman, one of the astronauts on the ISS space station apparently. She was asked uh, about brushing her teeth and she said that she swallows her toothpaste. Let's just see what she has to say. Are weightless as well. So you start off with that teeth brushing thing and I have to say, you know, spitting. That's going to be a problem. So we swallow our toothpaste and... Okay, so she says she swallows... Well, she says we swallow our toothpaste. Apparently they all do that, according to her. Okay, I don't know if she's read the label on the back of the toothpaste that says do not swallow because it has sodium fluoride in it, which is well known to affect bones. And in fact, there's even a condition called fluorosis, which actually affects the bones and causes the bones to become more brittle. Now, so not only is it very odd that she would swallow for, uh, fluoridated toothpaste at all, like uh, it's just mind blowing that NASA would allow their astronauts to swallow something which is a toxic poison. But on top of that, she's actually in this very same video in this very same video she says she but, describes how she's um, some of them aren't as tan she's doing an experiment to see how her bones are affected by gravity an osteoporosis experiment let's just listen to what she has, she has to say we're doing some research in osteoporosis which I think is fascinating and valuable basically I'm an experiment and I because we lose bone mass up here because we don't walk around on our legs we lose bone at about 10 times the rate of a 70 year old osteoporotic woman and so because I don't have some of the potential complications that somebody who's 70 might um, I'm sort of a clean medical specimen to do some experiments and so I'm I'm um, taking some of those drugs and we're looking at how my bone mass is changing and we'll, we looked at it before I left um, while I'm up here and also when I get home okay so not only is she <laughs> supposed to be um, part of this osteoporosis experiment to see how her bones are affected by gravity she's also taking some kind of medication and you're telling me that they are perfectly happy for her to swallow toothpaste which contains fluoride in the middle of this experiment and not only that, that taxpayers have paid millions of dollars for her to be there taking part in this experiment and then she just basically ruined the experiment by swallowing toothpaste and then like no one thought about that before they... I mean it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense. If you were doing a scientific study on the bones uh, you wouldn't allow people to swallow fluoride. I mean that just wouldn't be allowed unless it was part of the experiment which it doesn't I, I don't, it just I don't I'm pretty sure that they didn't tell her to deliberately swallow the toothpaste as part of the experiment I, d I doubt that very much it's all very strange anyway I just thought I'd point that one out and uh, just leave that one with you okay goodbye